To reiterate a point that was made earlier, this sketch, even though I've added a considerable amount of relations or constraints, as we might say, is still completely blue. That means that I can grab this rectangle, a, a corner of this rectangle, maybe a side of this rectangle, and, and change its geometry considerably. It's not constrained. It's not fixed. Th this is known in the SOLIDWORKS environment as underdefined. And I can see that in my status bar at the bottom. I can see that this is underdefined. So we need to add some more constraints or some dimensions to fully define this sketch so that I am unable to move it like this. What we're going to do is add two dimensions. That should be all we need. So go up to the sketch tab of the command manager and click on smart dimension. Click on the right side of the rectangle. Left click somewhere to the right. And enter in 2.625. This is 2 inches and 5 eighths. If you notice that you're not in the inch system, you can easily change your units down in, in the status bar at the bottom right. If you click this icon right here, you can either be in inch, pounds, or seconds, millimeters, grams, seconds, centimeters, grams, seconds, meters, kilograms, seconds, and you can click this icon to get more options where I can even change to feet if I wanted to or micro inches or feet and inches a bunch of other options. Notice I can also change the precision here. I'm going to click three decimal places here and for my angle shoot why not click one decimal place that seems reasonable notice I also have a qui a quicker select option up here where I can just click a bubble you can also ac access this dialog box from the options dialog box which you can click on by clicking this gear and then going down to document properties tab and going down to units here's the same dialog box and look at that I have six decimal places because I changed the wrong thing so just to build in some repetition I'll go down to the bottom right click on edit document units and here this length I need to change this to three decimal places there we go and click OK there we go notice I'm still in the dimension command so I'm going to click on the top line to add a dimension to this line let's make this six inches you can type in six from your keyboard and press en enter or click the check mark notice that my entire sketch just turned entirely black this means that the sketch is fully defined it's fully constrained I also know that from the status bar down here it says fully defined if I escape by pressing the escape key out of the dimension command I will try and move my rectangle from all four corners notice I cannot move my rectangle at all there is no part of my rectangle that I can move because it is fully defined it's fully defined in size by these dimensions and fully defined in location by this center line and this origin point and it's fully defined in form by these horizontal and vertical relations that may not mean a whole lot to you now but when we get to geometric dimensioning and tolerancing that will mean much more because the three main ways we can define geometry is in form location and size 
Now that I've finished my sketch and my sketch is fully defined, let's make a 3D solid finally. We've been through 20 minutes of this and we haven't gotten to one 3D solid. So, with our sketch fully defined, click on the Features tab of the Command, man of the command man Manager and click on Extruded Boss Space. You may not have to, to click it up here. You may be a able to just click the, the confirmation button in the top right. And then it automatically take you to the boss extrude property manager because we had originally selected that in the very beginning of starting our sketch. But either way will work. So with boss extrude property manager active, we can insert a depth for our base rectangle. And our depth is going to be a quarter inch, 0.25. And notice I can select the units again here. I don't have to because it's already in, in, in inches, but the, but the option is available to me. I can also change the direction of my depth by clicking these arrows. And I can also change the type of boss extrude that I make. I can extrude from a mid-plane in both directions. I can extrude up to a vertex or up to a surface or offset from a surface or up to a separate body. These are all different options which we may explore later, but for now, we will just do blind, which means unidirectional distance, which ours is 0.25. Notice I can also do more than one direction. I can do 0.25 upwards and maybe one inch downwards, but again, we're not doing that right now. All we have is one direction and it's upwards and it's a quarter inch. To confirm your settings, select a check mark. You can also press enter. And there we have a 3D solid. If you click your mouse wheel and move your mouse wheel, you will be able to orbit and look at your 3D solid. To revisit our view, view bar up here, I can click zoom to fit and it fits to the screen. I can zoom to window and I zoom to a specific window that I create. I can click on the view cube to click any of the views that I want. There's an isometric. I can click the back view if I can get there. There we go. I can click a an angled side view or go back to the isometric or just zoom to fit it doesn't matter and there's our there's our solid 